Hi, and welcome to this bass and creativity lesson. My name is Olivier Babaz. Let's talk about rhythm and improvisation, and especially managing the grid, the rhythmic grid within different cycles. So in order to have freedom with that, let's start with some preliminary exercises with the metronome. Let's put that on 80. And of course, let's play something really simple with the downbeat played by the metronome. So we have our one, two, three, C minor. And nothing crazy. Right, so of course here on the downbeat, now let's work by having this metronome on the upbeat of every eighth. So instead of having one, two, three, you're going to have and, and one, and two, and three, four. If you're not comfortable with that, take some time, take some time to practice this at different tempo, of course with various riff and various stuff. Learn basic repetitive riff at first and then try to improvise. Now let's use that but with a swing feel. So let's get back to downbeat, but this time playing with this swing feel, so swing out. So one and two and three, four. Once again, nothing crazy here. Now let's put those metronome beats on the up of every of every beat. So instead of having one, two, and three, and four, we're going to have and one, and two, and three, four. Now we're in swing field, so we're triplet based. So our beat goes one, two, three, two, two, three, and four. We had our beat on the one, we had our beat on the three, and now we want to put our metronome on the two. So instead of having one, two, three, one, two, three, you want to have two, three, one, 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 two, three, four. Right, so that was the first part of our lesson and it was more a uh, rhythmical workout in order to get used to having the metronome playing on different parts of the beat and different parts of the, of the bar. Now, what we want to, to develop today is to be able to change the cycles. So in the context of an improvisation, but it's very important to remember that it's in the context of a very free improvisation, you want to be able to break bar lines and to break cycles. 
So of course you cannot do that over a predefined canvas, but if you are in a very free environment and especially playing with the drummer, you can maintain a rhythmical grid, for example, eighth, which is the smallest rhythmical increment here, and vary and, and, and bring diversity to the kind of bars you're playing. So in a way it's a kind it's a way to improvise odd matter. And before we move on by be, by improvising uh, with that tool, we want to be able to expand or uh, reduce our, ryth our rhythming cycle. So we'll take a very simple example of a two bar cycle in 4-4 and we'll practice to add or subtract uh, rhythmic blocks. And with, with, we're going to stay today with the basis of eighth, right? So let's get back to our downbeat. One, two, three, our riff. So two bars. First step, we are going to add something. So in order to add rhythmical information, we want to keep it simple. So let's just add one quarter note. And the easiest way to play a quarter note here in this case is to play two eighth notes. So we're going to add two eighth notes to our rhythmical grid, right? So it's a, it's a, we could say it's a way to play a 4-4 four, four plus a 5-4 bar, but it's just a way to increase the size of your cycle. Now you want to increase that size by three eighth notes. So watch out, your metronome will now switch to up eighth on the next run. So instead of having two eighth notes added, you add three eighth notes. One, two, three. So notice once again that your metronome is shifting. Now let's just add only one eighth. So the smallest your value is, the toughest it gets, right? One, two, three, four. Right, so now that we've practiced to add eighth and rhythmical blocks of eighth, we're going to practice to subtract eighth. And once again, the goal here is to be able to improvise. And I'm just taking one example of a, one very simple thing, but you can practice this with a lot of other things. You can repeat stuff, you can really loop phrases before starting up your, your, your cycle. Now, subtraction. So we want to get two eight outs to begin with, right? Three, four. Once again, three, four. It's a way to play a seven, four because you get a four, four plus a three, four bar. So now instead of getting three eighth out, let's put uh, two eighth out, let's put three eighth out, all right? 
three, four. Now let's put four eighth out. Four eighth out is the equivalent of just playing six four bar. Let's put just one eighth out. So now that we've practiced that by having a little bit of control over how much we can reduce or expand our cycle, let's practice this by improvising and losing control. It's not about losing control really, but letting go a little bit and trying to uh, get ourselves used to manipulate, manipulate the length of the cycle. All right, so start with very simple stuff. And once again, if you want to um, decrease or increase your cycle use repetition points in order to change that in order to change that 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 length if you repeat something it will be much clearer that it's something that is added and then there is the beginning and in the case of subtracting be very careful to start really strongly on your first beat right let's start this and very importantly keep that with the metronome of course so you want to improvise more and more and you want to add and subtract beats and then lose the cycle you're just grooving without any bar line at the end and the more and more you add 16th note vocabulary the more and more it will become really interesting pretty sure you see the points so we sorry about that auto power button um, so the thing here is to be able to gain freedom with the rhythm but still keeping an eye on the grid it's kind of the other way around of what we call polyrhythm or rhythm shifts generally rhythm shifts are within a certain cycle the ability to play multiple rhythm that do not necessarily share the same grid but this is kind of the other way around we keep the same grid we keep the the, the smallest increments and we build different cycles from it right so once again don't forget to use various tonality and to really change your riffs and to really really uh, use repetition and starting point as a very strong uh, starting point for developing that and once again work with the metronome but don't follow it just use it as a check that you're good so i hope it gave you ideas and uh, i'll see you for the next base and creativity episode bye bye